Hello everyone, today let's talk about finding the x in a y-intercept for this line here. Now, um, when a line is written in the standard form, when its equation is written in the standard form, the standard form, okay, it's ax plus by is equal to c. Okay, so when it's written in this form, there is a really easy way to find the x in the y-intercept. So the way is that we simply just cover up one of the turns and then we can find the either the x-intercept or the y-intercept depending on which one that you are covering. Um, the idea is this. So first, let's say we want to find the x-intercept, right? So to find the x-intercept, and then you may say, what do we do? Well, x-intercept is the point where the line is crossing the x-axis, right? So that is when the y value for that point is zero. So we can use the idea of setting y equal to zero in this case. And setting y equal to zero, it's actually the same thing as what's actually just removing this turn right here because y becomes zero. So this turn doesn't matter anymore. It becomes zero. So we are left with really just a simple equation right here, 2x equals six. And so all we need to do is to solve for x in this equation. And it's really easy because it's really just dividing both sides by the coefficient of the x, right? So we divide by two, so those twos will get canceled. And then we are left with just x equals, what is that? That's three. So the x in the set, okay, it will be three and then y equals zero. So we have the, the answer right here, okay? So that's simple, right? And then now all we need to do is that we are going to find the, uh, the y-intercept, right? So to find the y-intercept, and what do we do? We are going to set x equal to zero, okay? And as you can see here, we just cover the term with the x. And in this case, make sure that you don't cover the negative sign. So in this case, we actually would just have an equation with y only. So now this is another simple equation that we get here. So negative three y is equal to six. Now, what do we do? We divide both sides by negative three, and then we can cancel those. And then we are having y equals what? Six divided by negative three, we get negative two. So the answer would just be, the y-intercept would be, well, we gotta put the x value first. So x is equal to zero, and then the y is equal to negative two. So now we have the y-intercept. And so that's how we can find the x in, and y-intercept easily by just covering up one of the turns so that we can get the number immediately. Okay, so that's it for this example. We are going to do more example next time. Thank you for watching. I will see you.